All right, we're gonna be changing the starter. Actually, I already changed the starter. My 2006 Ford F-150 FX4 5.4 liter Triton. I'm just gonna show you the some quick steps or what you need to remove. First and foremost, disconnect your battery. Always disconnect the negative. That way you don't have any arcing. All right, next thing, you pull this little cover off. Some of them will have them, some of them won't. Just depends. And then, you're going to be disconnecting your ground wire. Disconnect your power wire and your small solenoid wire. Small solenoid wire, power wire. You don't need to disconnect this one. This is just hardwired into your starter. You can leave this nut on. All right. Yeah, like I said, you'd be taking this one off. The hot wire, which is 14 millimeter, and your little solenoid wire, which is a 10 millimeter. Let's see if we can light it up a little better. Yeah. See your hot wire there, solenoid wire. The one up top, it's hardwired into your starter, so you don't need to take it off. And then I took off my ground wire. Because I'm having to redo my grounding stud. Yeah, there it is. Took that off. Yeah, it's got the three mount bolts on it. 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And I'll show you those here in a little bit. Yeah, I usually take that top bolt out and the side bolt, or either or, side bolt and then top bolt, and I leave the bottom grounding stud in down here for last, because it's easier that way. And then just get my hand up through the hole here that's on my truck. Support the starter and take that bolt out. And once the bolt's out, just drop it back a little bit, roll it down, and you can drop it down here by your pan, by your oil pan. You're on the passenger side. Here's where your starter's sitting, that's on the right side of your vehicle right down by your exhaust and your cat so watch if you've had your truck running for a while let it cool off I know mine was heating up pretty quick yesterday just because of the temperature around or just because yeah it's not real hard it says it's got the three mounting bolts 12 9 and 6 got your power wire Solenoid wire and your ground wire. It's usually always a good idea to clean those up real good. Once you get your old starter out, clean your wires up a little bit. I cleaned them up some, probably clean them up some more, or at least clean up my ground wire real good. Because you always want to make sure you have good ground. Cause that can affect your starter also all right well here's the original grounding stud went in like that and jam nut was on there and add your ground and your nut for your ground 
but whoever replaced the starter last time stripped the threads out of the block. So, yeah, that's junk. So, I was able to ream the hole out. Just thinking of different ways to do it. This was the easiest. Stream the hole out with the drill bit so I could fit a M8 bolt in there. Goes through the back. I put a little flat washer on the head just to make sure I didn't shank out. And I think I would have been all right without it. And then the ground will go on there. And then the jam nut. But yeah, that's your six o'clock mount bolt. The new setup. Then you have your nine o'clock. And the one up at the 12 o'clock position, you're not gonna be able to see. You just gotta go by feel. And you gotta kinda be gumby to get up in there. It's real fun. But for the bottom one, of course you're gonna go with a 13 millimeter deep well. A little extension. Three H drive. And then for your nine o'clock and your 12 o'clock, shallow 13 millimeter six inch extension and a three inch drive and of course it's another fun windy day here in the Antelope Valley but yeah that seems to be uh seems like that's gonna work and should never have issues with it but when you're tightening them down, just snug them down. I mean, that's cast, that's cast. You don't need to gorilla torque them, because when you do, that's what happens. They rip the threads out. I think he had JB welded it or something in there, because when I pulled it out, it had junk on it. But yeah, that'll, that should be good for years to come. And hopefully this starter will last me a long time too. Yeah, I got the back in, and we'll see. Alright, I got the ground cleaned up real good. I got that put on there. Everything else is on, snug down, good to go. Alright, got the battery hooked back up too. I'll need to tighten that real tight and just make sure it's not gonna slide around. Should be good. Alright, let's try it out. Yeah, it fires up real nice. Always keep an eye on your gauges. Especially if your battery should normally be around 12 o'clock position. running low or high you get a, a bad connection on your battery you know the ground or the positive either one of your connections is loose or your alternator is going out and dying so yeah keep an eye on that especially after you hooked your battery back up after doing maintenance Alright, well I hope this helps you out for replacing your starter if you want to get into it and try and save yourself some money. I went with a brand new one. It was about $190. Uh, if you go to Napa, Advanced, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, they're going to have brand new ones or they have rebuilds. I went with a brand new one because it was about $190. I think a rebuild was 165 or 170 so it wasn't too much cheaper and I believe it was the same brand uh, it all depends on what you want to go with it's your vehicle I mean when I was younger back east uh, there was actually a shop in my town that I could pull my starter off take it to the guy hit tear it apart rebuild it new brushes all new guts the only thing the core 
part of the outside was the old but all the interior was brand new it replaced everything for me or if I wanted to save some money he'd break into it and be like okay you know your brushes are bad or your contacts bad or this you know your solenoid whatever was bad he'd replace try and save me some money which was real nice back then because you could actually just change out little things but yeah for now I go with brand new figure if I'm gonna go through the headache taking it out putting it in I'm gonna want something that's gonna last me for a good many years and whether you got Ford Dodge Chevy doesn't really matter make or model they're all kind of similar for the starter replacement on your trucks but uh yeah I hope this helps you out and uh see you next time when I need to replace something else on my old truck take care